lads, how are you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm going to bring you guys the 2020 King Power Stadium Tour. So today boys and girls, we're going to be heading down to the King Power Stadium. Not for an actual match because of the, um, the coronavirus, but we're going to be heading inside the King Power Stadium, seeing what it's like in this 2020 Leicester City Stadium Tour. So obviously the coronavirus is having a massive impact on world football at the moment and we probably won't have a game for quite a few months so today I thought I'd head down to the King Power Stadium probably for the last time until probably next season at this rate to give you guys a stadium tour obviously there's not going to be as much content being produced on the channel due to no football really for Leicester so yeah I'm going to bring you guys a stadium tour today hopefully it is an interesting video for you guys and obviously there's quite a few Leicester fans who live abroad who can't make it to the games. I know there's quite a lot of fans in Thailand, obviously with the Vic Chart and the owner connection to that. And some of you guys probably won't have the chance to head down to the King Power Stadium at all. And probably will never have the chance to see the King Power Stadium inside on the stadium tour. So today I'm going to bring you guys this stadium for you to see what it's actually like. And it's going to be very interesting for me as well. I've in fact never been on the stadium tour before. Obviously I head down to the King Power Stadium on a few occasions. So it's going to be very interesting for me and you to see what it's like inside the stadium. But just before we get into it, make sure you have a big thumbs up down below on today's video. If you want to enjoy this Leicester City Stadium tour, make sure you subscribe and see my face on your screen before. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you guys could go down below, hit the subscribe button. It would be massively appreciated. And while we're down there, make sure my channel posts the case. So if there's any future videos on the channel, just like this one, follow my social medias, they'll be down there. Links, all of them will be in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts on the stadium. Did you like the video? Did you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. And finally, just a quick thing for you guys, the Football Content Awards voting has begun out on the Football Content Awards social medias. You can vote on Instagram, Twitter and the Football Content Awards website. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. Head over to my Instagram and Twitter for instructions. And if you don't have any of them, just drop me a message here on YouTube and I'll reply to you guys. And yeah, if you guys could vote, it would be massively appreciated. But without further ado, let's get down to the King Power Stadium. Let's get into the Leicester City 2020 King Power Stadium Tour. Boys and girls, we are just arrived at the King Power Stadium. We're just about to head inside to the stadium tour. It's starting in about 15 minutes. We're going to head into main reception over here and get started with the stadium tour. So here we are in main reception. As you can see, a lot of Champions League stuff from our first ever Champions League campaign a few seasons ago under Claudio Ranieri. As you can see, signed Atletico Madrid shirt, who of course knocked us out in the quarterfinal stages. And Marco Brighton signed boots from his, from his and Leicester's first ever goal in the Champions League. And of course, Vic Shire, the man who made the dream, the Champions League journey, all possible. But overall, some very nice things here in main reception. Here we are on level one of the King Power Stadium, We're just about to go into the director's lounge where the oppositional board of directors, Leicester's board of directors and also some very important people such as Gareth Southgate will stay in this director's lounge. As you would have just saw in the director's box, Leicester City's trophy cabinet is actually located in the director's box. Obviously, the Premier League trophy in there, the Championship trophy, League One trophy also in there, a few League Cups as well, and a few momentums from our Champions League campaign as well. But now we are heading into level three where the executive boxes are located. Some players do have executive boxes, such as Wilfred Diddy, Ian Acho, Jamie Vardy, and Casper Schmeichel also do have executive boxes here on level three at King Power Stadium. 
So here we are waiting outside of the LCFC media area and also the operations zone here at King Paul Stadium. So yeah, as you can see here, the LCFC TV kind of area, some very nice equipment in here. Also LCFC radio, as you can see the microphones over there and a very good setup as well. Maybe one day, but yeah, very nice media type of zone here at King Power. So as you can see here, we are waiting and going inside one of the executive boxes here at King Power Stadium. I do believe this one is a 10-seater box. Very expensive, as you can see, very nice inside, nice little suite in the executive boxes. And as you can see just now, the view which you get is pretty good of the King Power Stadium as well. So yeah, a very good box, but also very expensive. <laughs> You'd never actually be able to fit 32,500 people in here though for a Premier League fixture. Our record attendance is 32,242. It was set for the opening day of our title winning campaign in August 2015. Obviously there has to be a level of segregation between the home and away supporters. The away supporters occupy that left hand corner of the stadium. Lights on the pitch, good question madam. Well I'll tell you about the pitch now if you want. So it's worth two million pounds in total. So if you wanted that in your back garden, madam, it'd be two million pounds, if you're interested. There you go. Pay by check at the end of the tour. <laughs> um, underneath it is an under soil heating system. It is one of the best five pitches in the country. It's the exact same pitch as the one Real Madrid have. So it's state of the art to say the very least. It's called a grass master. These lights on the pitch are providing artificial sunlight. Photosynthesis, if anyone's a big bio biology fan. No, no. Okay. Um, they use a thousand pounds worth of electricity every single day. These big lights are worth 100,000 pounds each. That small one in the left hand side, bit of a bargain, 40,000 pounds. The gallery to our far left hand <laughs> side, that's where Steve Walsh will be on a match day, arguably our finest hospitality suite. And then you've got our 43 executive boxes, which Stretch the entire width of this stand. We've just came for a 10 seater executive box that will cost you £25,000 for 90 Premier League games a season. £25,000 a match. I'll tell you what, you'd be making a bit of money if you were having 43 of that. Is that £25,000 a match? No, for £25,000 for 19 Premier League games a season. Okay. Um, <laughs> If anyone wants to pay it, I think I've sold an executive box before, so on a tour. <laughs> Hello, you guys. So guys, on the way down to level zero, this is where the play changing rooms, media, this rooms, and go out to pitch with them soon and head down there now. Players entrance, so the corridor of Aston Villa would have walked down uh, less than a week ago, six mm. days ago. Come and sit in the press conference room where Jack Rulish and Dean Smith were crying on Monday night. So that was the press conference room, obviously Nigel Pearson, Brendan Rodgers has been there, obviously a few famous moments with lots of Claudio Ranieri when we won the Premier League, but now we're going to head down the place to move to the change rooms. Take place in a little corridor just off the tunnel, you can't show you in there. So we're now heading into probably one of the worst rooms here at King Power Stadium, the referee's changing room. Obviously in here there'll be the likes of Mike Dean, Michael Oliver, some awful refs in the Premier League have all been in this changing room right here. As you can see over there, Mike Dean, the worst ref in the Premier League. So yeah, this is the referee's changing room. So here we are in the away team dress room, as you can just see there, Aston Villa would have been here on Monday night after Leicester City beat them 4-0 here at King Power Stadium. That's so the Jack Grealish, Dean Smith would have all been crying in this room. Maybe it maybe even Danny Drinkwater as well. So obviously here is the away team dress room. It's not actually that bad to be perfectly honest. If it was my choice, I'd have just given nothing to be honest. No padded seats as well. But to be honest, it's pretty decent. As you can see there, there is a big pillar in the middle of the room. This helps to stop communication between the manager who could be stood over there. And some of the players on the other side could not be able to see. And it just it's just a bit of a tactic made by Leicester to try and put off the away side heading into the game. But as you can see, the away team change room, not too bad, but as you probably see in a minute, it's not as good as the home team dressing room for Leicester. 
So we're now heading out of the away team dressing room and headed into the home change room, Leicester City's training room here at King Power Stadium. Obviously, as you can see, it's going to be much better. Over there, we have a few pictures from previous seasons. This is just there to help the players. Obviously, up there, Foxes never quit as well. We're just about to head into the change room. As you can see, it's much nicer already. Blue carpet as well. And yeah, it's pretty good inside here. So we're just about to head inside to the home team dressing room as well. You'll probably be able to see there's some momentums of the players. Obviously, Vich are there as the players walk in to the changing rooms yeah very nice stuff around here for Leicester for the players there's a picture of each player around the dressing room and in large parts of the King Power Stadium as well so as you can briefly see that is actually the warm-up room here in the Leicester City home dressing room we weren't actually allowed in there because it was quite a lot of expensive equipment but obviously that is for pre-match for the players to help the blood flow around the bodies before they actually go off to the full warm-up before the game here at King Power Stadium but as you can see we are now into the wet area where of course the showers on the right hand side much better than the away team dressing room and very modern it looks very nice as well but actually over here that actually is a bath i know it looks absolutely huge it takes about 45 minutes to fill up boiling water and that i think that's for after the game obviously for the players to relax help the muscles to repair as well and stop the lactic acid and to the right there is some ice baths as well obviously going from the hot to the cold to help the muscles repair and it's just a decent way to chill out after the games yeah very nice in here and this is this is like the wet area of the changing room for after the game so now we're heading into the boot room here at King Power Stadium. Obviously pretty self-explanatory where the boots are stored here at Leicester. I actually managed to get hold of Jamie Vardy's boots as well, which is pretty cool. But now we're heading into the home team dressing room. And as you can see, it looks absolutely brilliant with, with, with all the light. And obviously much better than the away team dressing room. As you can see, I go over to Big Cag's shirt over here. It goes around in number order. And yeah, looks absolutely brilliant to be honest. Much better than the away team dressing room, obviously. And it looks really good for the players. Good way to relax before the game starts. And yeah, overall looks pretty nice so here we go we're walking out onto the king power stadium the last face to see is that brilliant picture of less city's two owners and this is the main bit of the tour in my opinion obviously walking out onto the king power stadium pitch boxes never quit through the tunnel and yeah it's, it's a really good experience walking through the tunnel here onto the king power stadium pitch and yeah it looks br really brilliant from down here great view of the pitch as well Boys and girls, that is it for the King Power Stadium tour. Pretty decent tour, to be honest. Good to see the pitch, all the behind the scenes and stuff. So let me know if you did enjoy the tour. Did, did you enjoy the video? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Obviously, there's not too much trouble going on at the moment, so I'm going to try to bring some more content out on the channel, guys. But that is it for the last city tour. I'm a sports, and see you all in the next video. Peace. Out.